everybody. Um, just wanted to go over uh, this new flashlight that I picked up. It is the Danforce G1. Um, it has a max output of um, 1080 lumens. And uh, let's go ahead and unbox it and see what it has. All right, it has a little thing on it. It says, you earned it. Nice little case. Let's see. A little envelope at the bottom. Has uh, some more little stickers on it. It's called uh, You Earned It. So, must be their little saying. Come over here to the. Oh, this is a nice case. It's got some carabiners on it. It's pretty solid. It's uh, soft, but not too soft. And uh, this particular flashlight comes in two flavors the G1 and the G1 Pro. And uh, this one is just the G1, so it doesn't have a lot of the extra accessories. <clears throat> so here's the main body of the flashlight. This is, looks like a power bank. And I think those go together. Here's a, a lantern attachment. A uh, couple lenses to change the color of the light to either green, uh, green or red. Accessories. So USB charging cable. Looks like micro USB. Uh, we have a tactical bezel. A bicycle mount. Looks like a lanyard and a quick release. A little wrist strap. So, so yeah, let's go in here. This must be where the batteries are. Yeah, okay. So it comes with two batteries, uh, MS Force, and they are 2600 milliamps each, 3.7 volts, lithium ion uh, rechargeable. So it comes with this great little charger as well. Yep, micro USB. And so let's go ahead and put the batteries in and uh, see how it works. So the end cap just twists off. Put the positive in first. We'll try that. Yeah, that must have been it. We'll screw that all the way back on. And uh, yeah, I don't want to blind you, but so good tactical feel on the back. Let's see, I think soft click. Okay. Yeah, look at that. So we got strobe. For all you Morse code fans out there, it's SOS. All right, so. Whew, that's brutal. So that's the high setting. So I think that's 1,080 lumens, and that's 750 lumens. So nice, nice. And then again, we've got this uh, power bank. has a compass on the end of it. And it has a regular USB port out and uh, micro USB in. So that must be where you put the second battery in. All right, everybody, just a quick word for some of the supporters of the channel. First Slammer Series turkey calls. They're made by a hunter for hunters. If you're looking for a new turkey call, visit www.slammerseries.com. Also, Aqua Leisure Services, LLC, serving the Rehoboth Beach, Delaware, and surrounding areas, meeting all your pool and spa needs. Science scientists, providing a broad range of services, including wall, murals, vehicle wraps, design, print, and marketing services. Regardless of your business requirements, their experts are up to the task. Visit www.sciencescientist.com or call 919-685-7641. Also, Tactical Creations. We're a small, personalized business that's here to help you personalize items to make the gift that you give that much more special. Visit www.tacticalcreation.com or call 770-548-2691. If you're interested in purchasing any NC Piedmont Outdoors apparel or Slammer Series apparel, visit our Teespring site. The link is in the description box. So here's the uh, power bank. So the end cap comes off and uh, we slide in the 
second battery. Has a nice little rubber seals on it, so it feels up nice and tight. And you, know, you can use the included USB cable if you wanted to. And uh, charge your device. So that's really, really neat feature. Again, the compass is on the back, kind of nice. And uh, one of the things that I really liked about this flashlight is you can you can combine both of these to make an extra long flashlight with extra long runtime. So let's go ahead and uh, see how that goes. So with this, we got to take off the USB end cap first. Take the flashlight out. Then we got to take the compass end off. All right, so it's just a little hollow tube right there. And then we'll take off our push button end cap. We'll take the battery out just to be safe. And then you can screw on the body of what was the power bank. And then we'll put in both of our batteries. And then our push button end cap back on. And we'll see. Wow, look at that. So, yeah, 1080 lumens. So, uh, we'll probably try again th this evening once it gets dark and kind of give you an idea of how bright it is. But, yeah, a little extra longer and it'll uh, run, uh, I think, longer. I'm, I'm not sure of the, the details. I think it's, uh, I, I saw on high mode, it would run about six hours. So, that's pretty good. Um, it does do internal charging uh, while the battery's in there, but it did specif uh, specifically say, in the manual that not to charge it internally with both attached. So only with the one piece attached, you can go ahead and, and uh, recharge the battery. So you don't wanna uh, plug it in and, and do both batteries with the extension on. So, and then the other feature uh, that I passed over a little bit was the, ex uh, the focus, right? So you can push it forward and uh, the beam's really concentrated. So it's really bright, or you can pull back on it and give you a wide field of view. So really nice if uh, you really need to send the beam out there and uh, see what's out there or if uh, you know something's in front of you and you just want a real wide uh, field of view so yeah the uh, Danforth G1 so uh, yeah check them out thanks for watching NCP Mon Outdoors camping fishing and hunting adventures